Hey y'all, I'm Lindsay Cummings and welcome to part two of the Ask an Author video series. I had all of you ask me your questions um, about author life, publishing life, book life in general, and I am slowly going through answering all of your questions one video at a time. Last week I answered what a literary agent does. So today's question is, how do I get a literary agent? I just made this bracelet. Oh, I just took it off. <laughs> I want to tell you what I know, what I've learned about how to get an agent, as well as my own story. I am currently represented by Peter Knapp at Park Literary. He is an angel. He is the second agent I've had in my career. He is wonderful. He is the one that helped sell the Zenith series to Harlequin Teen, which is coming out in January. Yay! I started writing books when I was really young. I was 18 at the time, and I talked a little bit about this in the first video, but I was not sure how to get an agent. I just knew that I wanted one. So I started researching. The very first thing that I did was go straight to my favorite resource in the world, and that is the Google machine. So I started Googling about how to get a literary agent, and I came upon two of the top ways to get an agent. The very first one is the dreaded query letter. A query letter is basically a short half page to one page, one page is a little too long, um, description that you send out to agents through email basically saying, hey, here's what my book is about. I would love for you to represent me. And the resource that I found while I was working on my very own query letter was actually a website by Nathan Bransford. As you can see here, I found Nathan Bransford's How to Write a Query Letter. I was so enlightened by all the incredible information here. It talks all about query letters. I will leave the link in the description for this. After I learned how to write a query letter, and don't worry, I will go fully into that in another video. So the first step is to figure out what agent is gonna be the right one for you. For me, when I was querying, I had just finished writing The Murder Complex, and this is a dystopian set in a world where every night at dark, people are killed and no one knows who is doing it or why. It's very bloody, kind of like a very darker side of The Hunger Games meets Nikita. So the first thing I did was go and look up who Suzanne Collins' agent was. I looked up who Veronica Roth's agent was for Divergent. So I looked for agents that I knew represented authors of similar genres. The way to find out usually who an author is represented by is you go to the back of the book to the acknowledgement section. Almost always you will find who the author has been represented by in the acknowledgement section because that's where obviously we thank everyone who's been a part of the book from the beginning. That was the best option for me was going through the bookstore, looking at all the books that I thought had a similar vibe to mine, and then I just wrote down all the agents that I could find in the acknowledgements for those authors. Then I went on to Twitter, I started to casually stalk them, started to get onto their websites, and a lot of agents will actually have a website where they talk about what they're currently looking for right now. The market changes all the time and you never really truly know what's hot and what's not. Good books are always hot though, so. So after I did that, I found a website that is wonderful and it is called querytracker.net. I got onto that website, I made a free account. It's awesome because it shows literally all of the agents out there and you can like categorize them by genre and subgenre, how they want you to send query letters. Once I figured out the agents that I wanted, I made a list of my top like 10 to 20 agents. I separated them into like groups of five, so like my five ultimate top tier agents that I was like, I have to have this agent all the way down to, I would love to have an agent. Here's ones that I think are interested, but maybe aren't my ultimate goal. I started sending out query letters. I did it like maybe five queries at a time. Usually agents will either have an automatic response telling you they'll get back to you within, you know, two weeks to two months. It just depends on how busy the agent is. Um, and I kept track of who I sent a query letter to, when I sent it, and then my responses if I got yeses or noes. I want to point out that I did get 120 rejections. I know it seems like a lot. I still believe to this day that a large part of that is because I was too quick to send out query letters and I didn't focus on making the actual novel itself as good as I possibly could. But I also believe that a lot of publishing is really subjective and sometimes you just 
don't make it at that point in time. Sometimes you just have to keep trying and keep knocking on the door over and over and over until someone answers. <laughs> and luckily for me, someone did answer eventually. I went to a writer's conference and these are incredible because there are actual agents and industry professionals, sometimes editors and marketing people who go to these conferences and you actually can sign up for like one-on-one -on -one time to go and pitch your book in person to an agent, which sounds really terrifying. And for me it was, but usually when I'm afraid, instead of like terror, I just turn into awkward. So I was 18, I went to a writer's conference, I signed up to pitch to an agent. It was like a five minute session where you walk into this room, there are tables set up and there are agents waiting and you and a group of writers go in and you each get to talk to your one agent for like five minutes. Basically you just sit down and the agent's facing you like one-on-one -on -one and they say, hi, how are you? And you introduce yourself and if you're like me, you almost throw up and in your awkward fear response you say I have boots just like my character she wears these boots and then you slam your feet on the table and say here's the boots <laughs> in front of like all these other people in the room and the agent watches you like you are not supposed to be there but instead luckily this one laughed and was totally into it and we talked and it was great um, and by the end of it, this agent requested to read my story. Usually they give you their business card if they're interested and they say, hey, send me over X amount of pages. Usually they move you up to ahead of a few people because they've met you in person and they get that face-to-face -face connection with you um, and then they go to reading your story. If you're lucky, either from cold querying or from meeting an agent in person at a conference, they will read your story, they will love it, and eventually give you an offer of representation. Two quick tips before my battery runs out is don't stress um, about getting an agent now. Work on the story first, make it incredible before you even consider an agent. And then secondly, don't worry about rejections. If you're in the midst of querying agents, everything is subjective, everyone has different tastes, and sometimes it's just a matter of luck and timing. I will do a video soon on actually how to query, and if you go to my website and sign up for my newsletter, you will get my actual query letter for the murder complex. It's literally there for you free. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, God loves you. Do not forget to love yourself. I just had a large cup of coffee. <laughs> okay, bye.